Once we return from our overseas travels, Em had one thing on her mind. Mission, find a man. <laughs> you are the sunrise waking my day. You are the moonlight shining my way. This is where I call Emily had just returned to New Zealand after two years working and living in London. And word on the street was Emily arrived home ready to meet a good Kiwi bloke. Englishmen just weren't her cup of tea. So got swiping on Tinder. Didn't take her long to swipe right on Mr Right as Craig ended up being her first date. Em's first report of Craig was when she sent me a message to say she'd been on a three dates with a guy who seemed quite cool. <laughs> You see, Emily had a list and we all knew it. We all know that Craig ticks all the boxes. Then lockdown hit and Emily moved in with Craig and his two flatmates. Em and Craig applied an almost business-like efficiency to this whole relationship. <laughs> Within a couple of months, each of them had met the other's full family and friend circles. <laughs> and you'll be relieved to hear that according to Em's message, both sides gave positive feedback. <laughs> made a comment that when Emily arrived home from work she was really high energy and was really keen to have lots of long chats when he just wanted to chill. We thought these guys are made for each other because when we live with Brick this is exactly how we felt about Brick. So uh, there are these questions that every father wants to ask, you know, do you have a job? <laughs> are your intentions honourable? <laughs> do you have a house? <laughs> play in a band and ride a motorbike. <laughs> Emily is incredible. She, the things that I've seen her do for you, she matches your zest for life in every way. This one stuck around and he always likes to say that she was fresh back from London and Brick uh, snapped her up before she knew what was on the market. <laughs> is truly one of life's most special things. Finding a person who makes every day better, who completes you, and a person you can't live without. Brick, from the moment I met you, I knew you were special. From that cheeky grin to the endless dad jokes, you've had me laughing every day I've been with you. Thank you for being my number one supporter. You make me feel so special, and I feel so lucky to call you my best friend. Loving you is the best thing that's ever happened to me, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Can I please invite Craig's niece Cherish to help with this, please? You came into my life when I needed you and you won me over right away. Even if you did leave me starving on one of the first dates. <laughs> I love your kind and caring heart, your warm smile that brightens every day. Most importantly, you are the love of my life and you make me happier than I could ever imagine. I promise to occasionally follow your early bedtime and promise <laughs> never to make you paint a house again. <laughs> I vow to be the man that you inspire me to be and the man that you deserve. deal up and signing on the dotted line today you two it was meant to be tonight i'm not going to tell any stories about craig not one i'm only going to tell stories about seizure back in primary school a dave and attenborough video was played and now in that video was a monkey that monkey had a seizure that monkey looked a shitload like craig <laughs> <laughs> it's stuck and he's been seizure ever since <laughs> Very much like 
like Seizure Monkey. If anyone's watched the movie Anchorman, <laughs> he looks just like Brock Tamlin. <laughs> I'm truly proud of the woman that you've found. I'm truly proud that she said yes. <laughs> Craig is kind, calm, enjoys a bit of pylon chat. Loves the... <laughs> Successful marriage is like milking cows, like I'm a dairy farmer. Yeah. <laughs> it's starting and each morning is starting all over again. <laughs> Craig only has these nicknames because of such a huge wealth of friendship that he has formed over the years and they have been so close to him that they've felt comfortable enough to call him something terrible. <laughs> and knowing that, that you've got that in a husband whose focus is to build those friendships that you can last a lifetime and have many nicknames, today he has said yes to a brand new nickname, husband. I know. Your husband today. would like to congratulate Emily and Brooke on their marriage today. Remember, you are here, you are now.